one mistake we all make when we look at the millionaires and billionaires or the rich people around us. But I have a good news for you. There are 10 secrets or 10 solutions to it. It sounds like, uh, like a fair deal, right? One mistake or one problem with 10 solutions to it. So hello everyone, Pranav here. Welcome back to my channel, Mera. Namaste, aap sabhi ko. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic as always. So today I'm going to talk about this amazing book, Rich Habits by Thomas C. Corley. So what is this all about? Like this book is something very uh, crazy and amazing. It's related to financial stuff, but it's more on habits. Like uh, how you can develop those habits with the help of which you can ignore that one mistake or the one problem which we all face or which we see when we see a millionaire or billionaire. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the video. So before I get into the book, let me talk about the man himself. A quick brief view and brief introduction about Thomas C. Corley. He is a best-selling author, lecturer and media contributor for Business Insider, CNBC and other national media outlets. He is a motivational global speaker, frequent invited industry conferences, corporate events and multi-level marketing and sales force team. His work has been read, viewed or heard by more than 15 million people in 25 countries around the world. And beyond that, he's also an award-winning author. So guys, I hope now like uh, it's quite clear that why he wrote this amazing book. He hasn't so much and I think he has a right to write this book and share with all of us. So now let's deep dive into the book and see what this book has in store for all of us. So before I talk about the book, let me talk about that one mistake. One mistake, one problem which we have while we look at millionaires and billionaires. Like we see their results directly. That's the mistake we make. Like this, we see their lavish cars, luxury houses, penthouses, condo, their private jets. But we fail to understand this, that there has been a journey which they went through to achieve this success, overnight success. Some takes 10 years, some takes 20 years, some even takes 30 plus years to get that overnight success. So we all want to be successful, right? Let's accept this fact. We all are here to achieve great things and we all want to make a difference by making money, by make, uh, like reaching out to more people, right? So what are those habits which these rich people follow and which have made them millionaires, billionaires and probably trillionaires as well in the future. So this book, Rich Habit, is all about those 10 principles which has been tried, tested and researched over years by his own wealthy clients. Whose client? Thomas C. Corley. Like he interviewed them, he talked to them, he understood how they work. And this book is a compile of those 10 principles which he followed. And he says that whoever follows these 10 principles, he or she will have chances of becoming successful. High probability, like it's probable, right? It's a probability if you get success or not. But it increases the probability of you becoming successful. If you follow these 10 principles by heart and guys like how many of you believe that like we all have uh, have been through have tried a lot like uh, we have to do this so that we can become rich we try to focus on multiple streams of income right but what happened here is like we face some obstacles or challenges we take our foot back because we don't want that security to get loosened up and make sure that the things are working in the right way for us, right? Why? Because we have family to take care of. So because of challenges and obstacles we see in that particular area or business, we take our step back. Let me tell you guys, this book talks about how you can literally avoid that obstacle and emerge from them. But because guys, like I, I personally believe this book, uh, this thing is also mentioned in a subtle way, but I like to be straightforward in this. And those challenges and obstacles are cropping up because of your fear, because this is something very new. So there are two definitions of fear. Either you face them and run away when you see them, or you face them and rise. 
So the choice is yours. I always chose to freeze them and rise and emerge as a person because if you freeze them and rise, you will become an unstoppable human being and then new challenge will come, a better one, so that we can upgrade from there. So now let's understand what are those 10 principles. I'll give a small gist because I can just go along and share with you what are the things. But I want you to go and deep dive into it. So the 10 principles which he talks about is time management and goal setting, personal development and health, good luck and success, networking and relationship building, positive mindset and winning attitude. So these are the 10 principles which he talked about in detail. So, and with terms, you already know the meaning of it. So I don't want to get into it and share with you what is it. But I'd like to share a few things from the book, which is quite fascinating. And we make mistake around these things only. What are the those things? First, redefining luck. And like, uh, we believe that they are being lucky to get that amount of success. They are being lucky when they get the deal done. But we don't realize the hardship they have to go through before that. To get that overnight success where they are so called lucky which we call them. It took them 20 long years. Guys, get into this in your head. Luck can be defined by two ways. Either you wait for it which average people does. But when I call average you are not average. Whenever I say average you will say I am not average. Say it like this. I am not average. And you are not. Affirm that, comment below and let me know that you are not average. So, but what rich people do is, they don't wait for luck. They make things happen. That's where the term comes from. They become lucky by putting in the effort. So put in the effort. Second thing, that's using your daily to-do list. Like we all make to-do lists, right? He, uh, today we need to do this, today we need to do that. But how many of us follow that 100%? Ask yourself this question. Ask yourself this question every single hour in your day. That are you progressing from your daily to-do list? If not, get go back and check yourself. Because the answer lies within you. Third one is, I believe is the most fascinating and important one is build a relationship daily. Why? Because our network is your net worth. And this is not something which I am saying or the book is saying, but we said by all the renowned leaders around the world. Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Warren Buffet. Like, I can just go on and on and on and on and on. So build a relationship every single day. Fourth thing is stop gossiping, guys. Like we gossip a lot instead of discussing about ideas. There is a difference between gossiping and discussing about ideas. Like we tend to start discussing on ideas, but we then end up having chit chat or like gossip. Like it's quite funny. Don't gossip guys. Have a purpose. Talk about ideas and then make a difference. So guys, these are the things which I wanted to talk about the video today and I hope it made sense to you a lot. This is a very simple read which will help you get yourself into daily habits. So start that daily habit and if you want that I should be sharing my daily habits from the books which I have read. The Rich Habit. I will be more than happy to share that and make a video every single day based on habits which I inculcate from this book and follow them every single day. Do let me know in the comment section as well and I will do that. If I get enough comments, of course. So that's the thing. And this is pretty much the video, guys. I hope I was able to add value. And I'm sure you want this book. So I'll put the link in the description box from where you guys can grab your other copy. So yeah, I'll see you next week again with a smashing video. Till then, Mera. Namaste, Aap Sabhi.